What's going on Aurora Alliance and welcome back to a brand new Star Wars Battlefront 2 mods video. Now in today's video you've probably already guessed it by now I'm going to be showing you a Captain Rex Phase 2 mod which has been created by RG Flame Streamer or RGF Lame Streamer whichever way you say that and the link to this mod is going to be down in the description below. But before we get fully into this video, make sure to let me know down in the comments section below if you would like to see more mods videos on the channel, as at the moment, since the Last Jedi DLC season is coming to an end, I feel like the mods are the only real thing keeping the game 100% fresh, because there are new heroes and skins and maps and things like that coming to the game through these mods. Obviously the mods aren't official, they are just fan made, but they're still really cool to mess around with in arcade mode, so you can like definitely not get banned for going online with them. Make sure to smash a like on this video as well to show support for the mods and for the channel in general, and if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance, be kept up to date with Battlefront 2 content, and see exclusive gameplay videos in the future. But now, let's get on to talking about this mod and the other mods that you're going to see in this video, because there's going to be a few. So, there are four different versions of this particular mod that I'm talking about. There is another Phase 2 Captain Rex mod online, but to me it's just a little bit too blue. The blue is very, very bright on the other one. Whereas RGF Flame Streamer, or RG Flame Streamer, whichever you want to call it, has four versions. You've got Captain Rex Han Solo mod, which turns Han Solo into Captain Rex. The good thing about this mod is as well that it actually has the clone voice to it. It's not Han Solo's voice. You can also get a Captain Rex Finn mod, which turns Finn into Captain Rex, and I think it still has the same voice. I haven't actually played with that one. I just focused on the Han Solo one because he comes equipped with the pistol that Captain Rex actually uses. And then you're also going to see the updated version of the mod, which is the Phase 2 Captain Rex again, put onto Han Solo with the Clone Trooper voice. But this time, he has a jetpack as well, which looks insanely cool, and you're going to get to see that in this video as well. Whether or not Captain Rex will officially come to Battlefront 2, I don't know. I have a strong feeling that he will at some point. Whether or not he will be an actual hero or a reinforcement, I'm not really sure. However, I have a feeling he's more than likely going to be a hero, as there are going to be a lot of heroes added to this game throughout its lifespan to keep the game up to date, fresh, and really fulfil what everyone wants to see from Battlefront 2. As we all know, at the start of the game, it was a bit of a letdown, the microtransactions and all that crap. But then it's really picking up. The DLC seasons are actually pretty fun. There are some issues with some of the challenges and things like that, but it is only the first season. They will improve as they do come throughout this year. But back to Captain Rex. I think he's a really cool character and I really did like him in Star Wars The Clone Wars. In Star Wars Rebels, yeah, he was good, but I wasn't that big of a fan of Rebels. It was really the Clone Wars that made me like Rex as a character, so I'd love to see him as a playable character in whichever form in Battlefront 2 at some point. As for his abilities, I don't really know what they would be, but I really think he needs his dual wield and pistols if he does arrive in the game, and I think that's what will be the issue with Rex coming to the game. They'll have to figure out a way for a character to be able to dual wield weapons, and I think it would be unique to just Captain Rex. I don't think they'd allow just every class in the game to be able to dual wield. But we'll have to wait and see if a year and Dice are willing to put the time in to try and bring Rex into Battlefront 2 as a playable character. But I don't want to keep this video too long. I know you guys just like to see the gameplay and then pretty much that's it. So, like I said at the start of this video, make sure to let me know down in the comments section below if there are any mods you would like me to showcase on the channel. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure to smash a like on it. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to join the Aurora Alliance, be kept up to date with Battlefront 2 content, and see exclusive gameplay videos in the future. But other than that, may the force be with you.